name is Kate McMahon and I'm your host today for the gallery. I'm really excited to introduce you to the current artist at the Media Center. Hi Denny, thanks for being here. Hi, it's nice to be here. Denny Camino, what an awesome name, great member, we love having you here. Thank you, I love being here. Awesome, so um, would you like to share with us a little bit about yourself? Um, I grew up in a small town in Pennsylvania, outside of Pittsburgh, and um, I discovered art in um, the 11th grade. I did my junior thesis on Andy Warhol, and I did my senior thesis on Coco Chanel whenever a librarian suggested to me um, to do to um, research um, her designs and stuff, and she introduced me to the world of art, and um, that's how I started. That's great. And then did you continue your education after high school? Um, I wanted to get into fashion, but I was kind of like um, steered in a, a different direction, so I decided to study business management mm -hmm. with an emphasis on fashion merchandising. But the fashion bug kind of like still was there, so I ended up going to fashion school in New York, to FIT, Fashion Institute of Technology, to study women's wear fashion. Oh, wonderful. That's great. Must have been wonderful to have the combination of both the fashion design and uh, business. Yeah, definitely have, have a balance between the two. That's good. It's important. And art's been important to you personally for quite a long time. Yeah, I um, just fell into um, art. Like whenever I was younger, maybe in the junior high, I wanted to paint my room black, and my parents wouldn't let me, so I decided to wallpaper it with black poster board, <laughs> and um, that was my answer to like um, to art. Like in. I didn't realize, but I was wallpapering my room, which is an art in itself. So um, and creative, very creative. When mom and dad said no, <laughs> right, I figured I'd find a way, which I did. <laughs> That's great. And then you went on to learn different types of art or practice different types. Um, I ended up spending a summer in Provincetown, and then I went back to New York, and things just didn't work out for me um, for fashion in New York. So I came back to Provincetown, and I met a painter um, who gave me some of his old oils, and I just sort of fell into painting that way, just intuitively. Um, I um, started painting, and then um, one thing led to another, and. I had my own studio, my own gallery for many years um, mm -hmm. where I um, promoted my own work and then I promoted the work of other artists. Um, and I did that for um, about 10 years. And um, things just grew and like um, took a different turn and I ended up um, closing the gallery and focused more on the studio, on my studio and the work in the studio. Mm -hmm. And now I'm like um, into um, getting into showing my work and stuff, which is like the show here at the Media Center. That's great. Good for you. Very Thanks. cool. Very cool. Um, so, can we talk a little bit about um, grids, which is what is being shown here at the media center now? Yeah, I, um, I'm just. I had a gallery and I had an um, installation space of um, like a sculpture garden in front of the gallery, and I um, did sculptures out of plastic and found objects, and I just intuitively placed them on a grid. So the grid, I never really realized that it was part of art history and modern art, but um, I'm influenced by the work of Agnes Martin, who was an artist out of um, New York and Taos, New Mexico, and she painted um, intricately um, designed grids with pencil. Mm -hmm. And um, the grids that I did, I actually, I don't use pencil, I use house paint for them. And um, it allows me to um, work fast and um, work in many different um, canvases at one time. And I actually use frog tape, which is a um, mm -hmm. painter's t um, yeah. paint um, tool that actually works really well to like get a crisp line. And um, I'm just drawn to the grid intuitively. Um, just, yeah. That's great. And you use many colors as well in this series. Yeah, the thing is with um, house paints, you can get um, colors that um, you can't really get with other paints. You can um, get a range of colors. That's great. Now I have visited your website and you also have um, a different type of works over on the website versus what's here today. Yeah, I am actually um, working in different styles. I have a couple different styles. I work in dots as well as I work in um, horizon lines, um, which are internal and external landscapes. They're more internal. 
I don't really look to the landscape for inspiration, but it's just internal, internally what I um, see. And um, my webpage um, has a series of blue paintings that I did um, last year that are um, highlighted on my webpage. Yeah, they're beautiful. Thank you. They're very beautiful. Um, so thank you so much for being here. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, just that I believe in art um, as part of our society and um, I'm finding in my 50s that it's like an integral part of my life and it's taken me um, this long to like really accept that and to realize that that's my um, journey in life is to create art and be part of like um, centers like the Media Center and the um, Cape Cod Museum of Art and the Art Association in Provincetown just to be involved in the arts. That's wonderful. I think it's important for all of us. Some type of art yeah. Yeah. Be that what it may. Knitting. Yeah. Cooking. Right. Gardening. Exactly. Art. Exactly. Yeah. Good for the soul. Yeah, definitely. Good for the soul. Well, thanks for being here. Really Thank you. Really appreciate it. And if you'd like to see more of Denny's art, please visit DennyCamino.com. And thank you for being with us today for the gallery. <laughs>